Hey everyone, Jarks here, which is going to give my quick first impressions of the Ace Attorney anime series. I've long believed it should have been one, and for years, and it finally is. And this one just quickly goes through the first case of the first game, which is basically your tutorial case. And I think it's best that they did it all in one episode. I mean, it did seem kind of rushed, but in a way, it helps new viewers just come in and see what the series is about without dragging the case on for too long. Because let's face it, if you know the Ace Attorney series, those cases can go on for a long time with all those lines of text. <laughs> can fit a couple of novels in the space of that game, I can tell you what. Anyway, they got the character Aces down down. Perfectly. To Phoenix, to Mia, to Larry. Well, I was using the Japanese names because it's not dubbed, but still, it's done perfectly. Not entirely perfectly, they kind of got pain as off as not quite his usual character. His cockiness seemed more towards the defendant instead of the defense, which is usually who his insults are geared towards. If you've never played it, don't worry. Because it's still a pretty close representation. But from the looks of it, each case after that is going to get at least three or four episodes to it. Which, given the length of the first game, that's going to get paced out really evenly and cleanly. It's not going to seem like they try to cram everything into one. Because they did seem to cram everything in there. But I think it was kind of necessary just to reach a wider audience and not just the hardcore fans of the series. And speaking as one of those fans, I enjoyed just about every second of it. We even had little tidbits that are going to lead into the next episode. But Phoenix has to run off to get his bike. I guess he can't drive to court yet. Now, obviously, unlike the games, you can't constantly be checking your court record and your notes for everything of the details of the case. And so, to give the viewers a chance to figure out the mystery before the audience, they put a bunch of visual cues that pop out on the screen. Ones that the characters see as well, but it helps give it away, so it's not an entirely a huge riddle and puzzle that no one can understand. And they really have an idea of turning it around, turning it about. Well, obviously, because that's the whole point of the series. So anyway, this is a great start and a good introduction. And I see things as only getting better from here. Definitely check it out if you've ever been curious about the series, but have never gotten to play it, or didn't have the patience to read through all that text going by. Actually, I'm going to make this a weekly series, so you'll see me again next week with my thoughts on episode 2. Till then, I'm Jarrah and thanks for watching.